Welcome to the Open Bible Podcast. My name is Jeremy Kaliba and I'm the lead pastor at Church of the Open Bible in Pinoca, Alberta. Thank you for joining our weekly devotional. Our associate pastoral intern, Ethan Jones, has been walking us through Psalm 25 and I've been looking at Romans 5 and it's our prayer that you are encouraged by God's Word. I'm starting to get questioned more and more as my kids get older. Last week, my 14-year-old daughter questioned my choice of words. Specifically, she questioned whether I had made up a word that I had just used. And the word was horribleness. And when you're questioned like that, the only resort is to turn to Google. And I'll have you know, I was vindicated. Thank you, Google. But sometimes we question far more serious things. We question our Heavenly Father about far more substantial things, like whether He really loves us, or whether we really will be saved in the end. These are real questions, and instead of turning to Google for the answer, we should turn to Romans 5, especially verses 9 through 11. Since therefore we have now been justified by His blood, How much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God? For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more, now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. More than that, we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. The certainty of being made right before God now means the certainty of our being made complete before him at the end. When we doubt one, we are doubting the other. When we doubt whether we'll be saved from God's wrath or whether we'll share in Christ's resurrection, we are doubting what Christ did on the cross. We are doubting the effectiveness of his sacrifice. We are doubting the reconciling power of God's love towards us when we were still sinners. Look at the pains with which Paul wants us to make this connection. We see it in his repeated use of the rhetorical question, for if this, how much more this? If we've been made right at the cross, how much more will we be declared innocent at the judgment? If we've been reconciled with God by Christ's death, how much more will we experience resurrection by his life? How much more? Brothers and sisters, do you know all that you have in Christ? It is much more than we can even realize. We can have certainty of our future salvation because of the certainty of God's love towards us in Christ. But Paul has one final, more statement in verse 11. More than that, we also rejoice in God. We come back to the call we find in verses 2 and 3. Rejoice! If you have been made right with God by faith in Christ's sacrifice, rejoice! Your salvation is secure. If you find yourself questioning the Father's love toward you, ask Google to take you to Romans 5 verses 9 through 11. We need to fall back regularly on the reality in these verses. And we need to regularly act out the reality in these verses with one another in communion, reminding one another. Through Jesus' saving death for us, there is release from fear of future condemnation. So take a moment to rejoice with me in that today. Again, thank you for joining me today with another edition of the Open Bible Podcast. Our intro music today was Morning Song by Antoine Bradford, 
and our closing music today is Deliverance by Strat. Your love is a flood and I swim deep when the tide is up. Oh, would you flood me too? So water in my blood has made me taste sweet to the world. This is my deliverance, hands held high, as you deliver it, oh, you have made me a child of God, my feet on the ground, my heart in heaven, I am great made without the living, oh, you have made me a child of God. in my hand Oh, as a gift from you Your water floods my brain This gray cranium won't be the same Oh, where I've been won't do This is my deliverance Hands held high As you deliver it Oh, you have made me a child Hands held high as you deliver it all. You have made me a child of God, my feet on the ground, my heart in heaven. I am bread made without the living. You have made me a child of God. Good job.